Wood is not the typical material you'd think of using for building stuff in space, but last month the world's first wooden satellite, Lignosat, was officially deployed into Earth orbit. Lignosat launched to the International Space Station a few months back, and then was actually deployed from the station into Earth orbit in December. But this actually isn't the first time we've studied wood as a potential space material of the future. To help pick the materials for this new satellite, Japanese researchers exposed wood to space for approximately 10 months on the outside of the International Space Station. The samples showed no change in weight and no erosion due to atomic oxygen. While there were slight changes in color, the wood held up pretty well. So why do this? The metal that we use to build satellites right now works fine, right? Well, when a spacecraft made of aluminum re-enters the atmosphere, the burn-up process does create some pollution. And a spacecraft made of wood makes only water vapor and carbon dioxide, which is less harmful. And it's also just great to have more options. You know, it's really cool to know that you could use both metal and wood for creating something in space if it was appropriate for the task. So Lignosat builds on this previous experiment, taking that next step to see if wood can actually support the operations of this satellite, even analyzing how wood transmits data through geomagnetic fields. Fields. And now can someone please make some sci-fi art where everything is made of wood? Would love a very different vision of the future.